My name is Don Kripal. I'm currently Director of iDetect Services with the Capital Center for Credibility Assessment, C3A. Also a member of the Converis Technical Advisory Board for iDetect. I have 30 years of federal service, all of it in the credibility assessment arena, primarily in the area of polygraph, but more recently other technologies as well. Of the 30 years, the first 20 years were spent with the uh, Central Intelligence Agency as a polygraph examiner, researcher, and manager, and the last portion as Deputy Director for the National Center for Credibility Assessment, which is the government's center for research and edu education on all credibility assessment technologies. I was first introduced to the technology at that time called the ocular motor deception test in the early 2000s when I was uh, climbing Mount Rainier with Dr. Hacker and Dr. Kircher. It was an idea that they were formulating between the two of them and their interest was would the U.S. government be interested in this technology and I being a U.S. government uh, representative at the time doing research for the U.S. government I had two questions for them one is it valid and two is it practical and at that early stage they suspected that it was going to become valid when their research was completed and they did know that it was going to be practical based on the state of the technology and the subsequent research that followed over the next decade they did in fact find out that it was valid and through the development of engineers in the sensors and the display and in the protocol development it has turned out to be quite practical. At that time I was naive enough not to know what was involved in the technology and not knowing what the, what the state of the uh, research was but I had great faith in Dr. Kircher because for the last 30 years the U.S. government has relied very heavily on his research for the development of best practices among polygraph examiners in U.S. government programs so there was reason to have faith in Dr. Kircher's judgment that this might turn out to be a very promising technology. While I was still with the government and with the National Center for Credibility Assessment, I actually monitored a variety of technologies for those that might be most be promising for the government problem set. Among them, the most promising was the research being done at the University of Utah on the ocular motor deception test, which eventually became iDetect. And over the course of 10 or 12 years, it became more and more clear that this technology had a great deal to offer. I had monitored this technology over the course of the last dec decade and found that the research was pointing more and more to a particular accuracy, perhaps in the mid 80%. And they were refining the protocol, they were finding where it would work best and some things that became confounds and uh, managed to uh, eliminate those. By the time it became a commercial product, it became very, very clear that this had a great deal of potential for applications that I was interested in in the, in the government. For those agencies who have not yet had an opportunity to see the iDetect system, it's certainly worth your time to arrange a demonstration. 